Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in TLA 8 which is all about phases of fish culture. This will be the second quarter topic week 2 and day 1 and this lesson is under the Matatag group. For the objectives, the lesson 80% of the learners will be able to first is to identify the phases or aspects of fish culture. The second one is to classify the given occupations into the appropriate career or business opportunities categories. And the third one is to appreciate the diverse career and business opportunities available in the fisheries industry by answering the guide questions. In activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the students will identify whether the career or business opportunities are the thought. For the lesson purpose, the students will identify or accomplish the identifying pictures and then the teacher will show pictures and let the students guess the following pictures. Another part of the lesson purpose is that the teacher will ask the following questions. For the first question, the pictures shown are examples of what? And for the second question, why is it important for fish to live in their habitat? For the third question, what are the ways to reproduce fish and for them to grow? And for the last question, based on our activity, what do you think is our lesson for today? For unlocking of content area vocabulary, ask the students to define the words they have listed in the graphic organizer. And these are the some words to expect. So the first word is the storin. It refers to something related to or characteristics of an estuary, which is tidal mouth of the large river where the tides meets the stream. And another word that need to identify identifies the word spawning. It refers to the process by which fish, shellfish, and certain other aquatic organisms release eggs and sperm into the water, typically for the purpose of reproduction. Another word that need to expect is the word mimics. It is a things or beings that imitate or copy the appearance, behavior, or characteristics of something else. And another word that need to identify is the word salinity. It is a concentration of dissolved salts.
primarily sodium chloride or table salt in water and it is often expressed in parts per thousand or PPT or as a percentage. Another word needs to identify is the word brackish water. It occurs when the fresh water from a river or lake meets the salty sea water of an ocean body. For developing and deepening of understanding, so let us know what are the phases of fish culture. So fish culture embodies the human effort in raising or maintaining the maximum productivity of all bodies of water and in maintaining fish supply in order to satisfy the human needs. To attain this, fish culture has three different aspects, namely the fish cultivation, fish propagation, and fish conservation. For the fish cultivation, it is rearing of fish under controlled or semi-controlled condition. It seeks to produce as high a quantity as possible of graded fish a uniform size or two to produce most weight. The following are the classifications of fish cultivation. The first one is the word intensive. It utilizes limited area with very high investment. The second one is the word extensive. It utilizes wide area with a minimal capital and a very low production. And the third one is the word semi-intensive. It employs some of the majority of the modern techniques of the production. The second phases or aspects of fish culture is the fish propagation. It is a process of increasing fish life either by natural or artificial means of production. This means that fish may be allowed to mature and multiply by themselves. The following are the types of fish propagation. So the first one is the natural propagation. It is where the fish reproduce naturally in their habitat habitat through spawning where eggs are fertilized externally or internally. Another types of propagation is the semi-natural propagation. So it refers to a breeding a that involves a combination of natural and artificial methods. In this method, fish are allowed to breed in the controlled environment that mimics their natural habitat to some extent but with some level of human intervention. Another phases or another types of propagation is the artificial propagation and this involves the human intervention to control the breeding process. It includes methods like stripping eggs and milk or sperm from fish and then fertilizing the eggs externally. Another phases or aspects of fish culture is the fish conservation. This is the scientific means of utilizing fish and other fishery aquatic products or resources. This could be accompanied by observing fishery laws, rules, and regulations affecting the fishery products. The following are the importance of fish conservation. So conservation and sustainable management of fish biodiversity are essential for the well-being of both aquatic ecosystems and human societies, supporting ecological integrity, economic development, and cultural heritage tied to these remarkable aquatic creatures.